Chapter 1 Land of the Lilikin. So, this must be Grimoire. What? Awesomely weird. Well, this kind of works out. We won't have anybody gawking at our arms. Way to find the silver lining. I guess we should head straight down this path. Yet? Hello, I spy another mirage. That is the call to Choco Chip. What are you the waiting for? Go on and imprison the it. Okay. Prismarium. What is it? That's the call to prism. Use it to the make the Choco Chips Prismarium. Every time you find a new the Mirage you haven't seen before, it'll be recorded in Anna Crow's special Mirage Manual. Whoa! Does it even have pictures? You the betcha. And then whenever you add a new Mirage to the manual, you receive one of its prisms. But only the first time, Three. mind you. Okay, first, try the weakening the Choco Chip. Then they use your prism.
time to declaim that mirage for your own. Go on, the Selectian Prism Command. You might have to try different things before certain mirages will let down their guard and give you a chance to imprison them. Think the outside of the box. was a good fight. Oh, right! Choco Chick running around in the Prismarium. Pretty the neat, huh? Next, why the don't you have a go at stacking that Choco Chick on your head? Here, watch, I'll just show you. Oh, now I get it. So when I saw you perched on Lon's head back in Ninewood Hills, that's what you call stacking. Yep, that's the right. While I'm up to here, I get to take it nice and the easy. Uh, is that stacking or slacking? When you create a stack, the HP of everyone in the stack gets the added together. Like they say, strengthen the numbers. Oh, so it's like combining into a super robot. Better than yet, your magic and other abilities have the potential to change too. It all depends on how your stack is the configured. Huh? Oh, I don't need any action figures when I get to blast out super attacks like a super robot. Well, just be the careful. Stacking doesn't then make you invincible. Some of the enemy attacks have the power to unstack you. In other words, bye-bye super robot, so to speak. Yowzers, it does sound like bad news. It's true that we are individually the weaker when we're unstacked, but look on the bright side. Since we each get our own the turn in battle, we can use the extra moves to have one member attack and another the heal. It can be very the helpful. Depending on the situation, you might even the decide to unstack yourselves by choice. Think the carefully and choose the best setup for the job. the way, you two can the switch between giant size and lilithan size. Depending on your size, you can make different stacks. You won't be allowed to put big things on top of the small things when creating a stack. So, to get on top of a mirage, you need to the be in lilithan form. The best way to the learn is to try it once you've rounded up a few more mirages. You'll pick it the up in no time. Huh? A dead end? But there's nowhere else to go. What are we gonna do? Never the fear! Look the closely! This may appear to the be a wall, but it's actually a gimme golem. Is this a mirage too? Not in the traditional the sense of the word. But you'll see these pests all over Grimoire. And unless you they give them what they want, they'll give you a hard the time and block the way. So what is it they want? It really the depends on the gimme golem. So the first thing you'll have to the do is examine it. Gimme, gimme! 
So where do we find that? That choco chick you just imprisoned ought to be able to track the down what we need. But first things the first, you're going to have to unlock the right ability on the choco chicks the Mirage board. The Choco Chicks come along for a stroll. something yay you the found it now try examining the gimme golem one more at a time Whoa, it vanished. That's so cool. I guess the Choco Chick found us just the item we needed. Yep, yep. With the help of a Mirage of the two, there's nothing that you can't accomplish. And Mirage boards are for much the more than unlocking abilities. You can also use them to change your Mirages into new and the powerful forms. So be sure to keep on the leveling up and working on your Mirage boards. Pretty soon, you'll be bouncing in the trouncing across Brimmore like a pair of the pros. So, Tama, 
I notice mirages disappear when we defeat them. Why is that? Most of the mirages you see in Grimoire don't actually the technically belong in this world. Huh. Wait. Now, that's weird. Who was it that told me all this before? Ugh. It's like... Right there, on the tip of my tongue. What's this? This is the Kata Merkrit. Inside, you're the likely to find mirages that are, shall we mirages? say... Mirages? Oh man, let's go catch them! But... Uh, this one's not very cute. Tried to the tell us. Try a little harder, please. Get away! There's no way out of this. No escape. Ah. Uh, uh, ow. 
Oh no. Did you two die already? What? I died? But that's... no way! Maybe it's true. That Mirage and the Murkriff did kinda... Well, I'm still alive. Yes. That's because someone intervened. Right at the moment of your demise. And made it so the battle never happened. Wow, you can really do that? Of course. Although Tom is the one who does it. That's the right! I have the power to rewind time a little. And then the whisk you to safety. Although, it costs me a life to do it, so I hope you don't mind if I rest for a little of the while afterwards. A life? You might not to believe it, but I've actually got multiple lives. Back there, I had to sacrifice one of those lives to turn back time and to save you. You see, this girl with the ribbon that showed up in my dreams, she's the one who taught me how to do it. That makes zero sense and kind of freaks me out, but Tama, I'm impressed. Thanks! Oh, but just so you know, I can only the use my powers to protect the two of you specifically. And only the if you lose a fight, like what happened to you in the Murkrift. Or the yeah. And I can always the recover my lives if you stay here and let me the rest a spell. So, don't forget to give me a breather before I run out of second the chances. Dude, you got it. Say no more. Rest yourself silly. Yes, this sir. Thanks, Tama. We really owe you one. Especially Lon, who didn't have the good sense to listen before diving in. D uh, <laughs> hey, who's that? Oh. If you mean our new guest, she claims to have gotten herself lost. Go say hello. She's quite the character. Uh, okay. The real Where'd question is how she got she here from the outside world when it's no easy trick. Oh, she must have experience crossing between planes. Would you both slow down? 